I got this comment on my last video and I have seen many similar comments in the past under my older videos. So I thought it's time to address this problem. If you are one of those people who get low FPS in Valorant despite having a high-end laptop or PC, then stick around and watch the complete video. I'll be showing you 5 steps and do not skip as I'll have a lot of explaining to do after every single step and hopefully that will help you solve this problem. So let's begin. Okay, so uh, the first thing is right click on your desktop and go to display settings. In here, select graphics and scroll down and search for Valorant. Just in case you do not have Valorant here, just hit browse and locate Valorant and select it. Once it is added, click on Valorant and hit options. So by default, let Windows decide this option is gonna be selected or maybe power saving. You need to change it to high performance. And why is that so? Let's talk about it. Before applying these settings, it is important that you know what you are doing to your PC. So the power saving option shows you the APU name and the high performance options shows you the GPU name. Now for those who do not know, let's get familiar with these terms first. CPU. It's a processor and it's just the processor without any integrated graphics. APU. It is also a processor but with support of integrated graphics, right? Like Intel HD, Radeon or Vega. These are the integrated graphics. And GPU. GPU is basically your graphics card like GTX 1650, GT 1030 and RTX 4090 etc. Now that you know what is CPU, what is APU and what is GPU, let's talk about how are these options any different from each other. So if power saving is selected means the game is using the APU. That is why you are getting a lower frame rate because APUs are weak. So change it to GPU that is the high performance one. And in my case, you can see the GPU name is displayed in both power saving and high performance rather than APU because my processor is just the CPU, not the APU. I do not have integrated graphics on my processor, so I just have my GPU listed in both of them. If that's your case, really great, just select high performance. And if you have APU listed in power saving, select high performance and select GPU. And try running the game. If the FPS issues are gone, then this was the cause and now it's fixed. And if it's not, time to move on to the second step. For the second step, you need to open up Valorant. Once you're in the game, hit settings and go to video then head to graphics quality in here since you have a high-end PC you can actually set it to high lower medium doesn't really matter that's not the problem here the main options are improved clarity and beta experimental sharpening so these two options right here you need to keep these off because if you have these two on these can eat up a lot of your frame rate I used to get around 300 to 500 FPS but with these two settings on the frame rate went to 150 to 200. One of my friend has one of these on but has no issues but as per me I had a problem so I had to keep these two off. So make sure you have these two off you can keep the rest of the settings high and bloom distortion cast shadows all these on but make sure to just turn these two off because these two options specifically just eat up a lot of your frame rate. Now the third step is the FPS limit. As you are in video head to general and in here you will see limit FPS on battery, max FPS on battery, limit max and all these FPS limitations. So if you have any of the limits on, go ahead and turn these off. If you have a high end PC, frame rate is not a constraint. So make sure to remove all frame rate. Like you might be thinking FPS in menu, yes why not? We don't need really high FPS while I'm in the menu, but just keep it off. Do not complicate it, turn all these off and remove all the possible limits because who doesn't want big numbers, right? Anyways, fourth setting is VSync. So let's go back to graphics quality and in here you will see VSync. Turn it off right now. So what VSync does is basically it matches or limits the frame rate of the game to your monitor's refresh rate. You have a beast of a PC or laptop which is capable of hitting 500 FPS, let's say, but your refresh rate is 120 Hertz. Because of VSync, it's gonna limit it to 120. And make sure make a limit to 120. So yeah, go ahead and turn this off. And just in case you do have not set your refresh rate correctly, just minimize the game and right click, go to display settings again. And go to advanced display. And in here you will see choose a refresh rate. 
and make sure you have set your refresh rate to the highest. And mine is 144 as you can see. As at times when you buy a monitor, you need to change the refresh rate because most of the time the refresh rate is given 60 by default. So you need to go to the settings and change it to the highest. Like I have set it to 144. Just in case, if you have it on 60, go ahead, drop down and select the highest frame rate. That might be the cause of the problem. So let's move on to the fifth and the last step. That is the power supply. Your power supply might not supply enough power to your graphics card causing bottleneck. You might need to upgrade your PSU and obviously PSU is power supply unit, basically power supply. And I'll attach this PDF in the description. Okay, so this PDF you see right here, recommended PSU table. Uh, it is not mine. I didn't make it and all rights to the owner. But this will be helpful for you to know if your GPU is bottlenecked by your power supply or not. So make sure to have a look at it. And basically that's it. So these are the things I did when I got my new PC to avoid any such issues. And hopefully following these steps, you will also fix the issue and enjoy the game. Well, that being said, if it helped, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and share it with your friends who have similar problems. And yeah, pretty much that's it. And see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.